Welcome back, Sonic fans, to another live reaction with Hungry Harmony. Or should I say Knuckles fans? Because we're watching Knuckles Adventure Episode 2. Or in this case, it's Knuckles and Wade. Ha! Ah, well, we know that Knuckles got kidnapped. And, well, I hope we're gonna find out who this mysterious... I mean, I'm guessing who the new villain is, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, they're following someone. They're not part of Gun. They just infiltrated Gun. Which, Gun needs to really work on their security. Have they ever been good at that? Maybe not. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep guys waiting. I want to get started in episode 2. And hopefully the Wi-Fi will be okay and good. Please? Okay, I will keep you guys waiting. Let's go, episode 2. Oh, there's two cars? I thought they went in one. Maybe it's... Maybe not. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm surprised they have... Back up. I mean, if this is like a new organization... So I, I won't be surprised if there's security behind them. you in a nice suit and look at you two in the same suit I wonder if it's stone look at that smile she's really good oh it was Wade hey you know sometimes he can be a dumb dumb but no he can be a smart smart like, look at that, he turned off the lights just in time. Nobody here. Or for we just have dumb dumb villains. That also works too. <laughs> Come on, wait, you can do this. You might not be a warrior yet, but you are a deputy. In fact, you're one of the greatest deputies in the history of law enforcement. Sure. In a situation like this, you call for backup. This is Montana, so you are the backup. <laughs> you are the backup. You your instincts. Think back to your police training. You are prepared for this. Ah, oh, yes! i never seen that movie, but like, Will Smith. <laughs> I wasn't there for you. Cool line. I am extremely unprepared for this. I still don't know how you even got, uh, I'm gonna cut the volume down because last time I got copyrighted for this, that's why if you guys did not see on the, the, what's the word, the, or you might have seen it gone blank, so actually for copyright's sake I'm probably gonna skip this, I don't really want to, but, but for copyright's sake I think I should, or at least go weird, I don't know, like, so that it doesn't, because they literally copyrighted me for 30 seconds. Like, my whole video was totally fine. And for 30 seconds because of this song. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I told you I don't claim anything in the videos. Except for me and my voice in my room. That's all I claim. <laughs> Ugh, YouTube. So I'm just going to be funky. But, yeah, so sorry. But I feel like this is the only way I can do it without any copyrights. <laughs> but this looks so fun. Ugh. But yet, for 30 seconds, come on. Like, my video is almost an hour long, but 30 seconds it's copyrighted. I'm like, come on. <sighs> okay, I think it's good. Volume up a little bit. Knuckles! Oh, he looks so cute. <laughs> like, he doesn't look mad. He Or now, he, well, he's just looking around. Oh, this is the lodge. Those are, look like antlers. A torture chamber. It's so deep that no one will ever hear my screams. That's space. Stone? Oh. That's quite nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. Never mind. I always picture myself living in a place like this one day. Really? I don't know how to ski. But a house like this, I bet I could learn. All you have to do. You <laughs> Sorry. I just like, yeah, I can find myself. It's almost like, hmm, 
I could totally have like a view like this there in space, but I need to become an astronaut. But with a place like this, with a view like this, I probably can learn. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> It's almost like you want to live on the beach side, like, mm, like with the, like mansion or view, whatever, like this. All I need to know is learn how to surf. But if with a house like this or a view like this, I could probably. Oh my gosh, the logic behind this guy is so funny. Okay, I want to hear Wade's thing. Don't you have your punch, Ching thing? Didn't you get the, yeah, you brought that with you. Oh, both of them. Uh, charge in. Imagining it is fun. Your arms have just snapped off with the most satisfying crunch. I feel like you and Chewbacca, Chewbacca would get along. Stop talking to him. He's fine. That's fair. He did start it. Fine with me. I'm gonna go relax. Job's done. I'm gonna pop the kit. And then you can use that money to get skiing lessons or snowboard lessons, whatever you prefer. Sledding is fun. Wait, what did you say? I get it. <laughs> Not really. I mean, okay. <laughs> really? I mean, okay. I, if I were to ever say that line, I mean, I have said that line before. I'm like, Americans. But I would never say, I don't think I would say it to that situation. I don't think he was American enough to be, to say that line. I don't want to hear that line again. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. Never mind, no, that's that's valid. <laughs> get paid. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Only. Wait, off some rescue plan starts now. Americans usually do that. One. That helps, but doesn't mean it's gonna work. Oh no, music! More music! Gotta bring down the volume. Oh dear. Same. Do you even know? What is this, Home Alone 2? This is all going in his head. This is not actually happening. Though, he would have seen that on the floor. <laughs> oh man, kids! <laughs> Wade's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wade's imagination, I completely understand. Like, I want to be cool and doing things, but reality kind of... <laughs> no. Oh, dear. What the heck? The way he just grabbed Knuckles is just so weird. I feel like he would be a lot heavier. Now, as is tradition, let us celebrate warm hugs. And that's where the fireworks come from. Your back would be cracked. I tasted one for the first time! Okay, quick story. So, if you guys remember my friend Anna, whoever saw the miraculous movie, I read, reacted to her. She was actually sitting in this seat, I was sitting in the back, it was really fun. But she, we, uh, 
we sometimes hang out and we watch or I recommend an anime to her, Spike's Family, so. But one day while we were watching Spike's Family, I'm like, I'm craving popcorn. And I'm like, but not just any popcorn, movie theater popcorn. So I said, Anna, I'm gonna go to actual movie theater nearby and literally just buy movie theater popcorn. And she's like, nice, get an icy too. And I'm like, okay. So I go, but okay, the thing is like, she was she was craving an icy, which is funny. I was craving the, the popcorn, she was craving an icy. But I was like, I don't know what an icy is, or I've seen pictures, but I don't know what it tastes like. I don't even know what it is technically, look like a slushy-ish kind of drink. I had no idea. But when I get to the, the movie theater, there's like three flavors, like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola cherry, and then blue raspberry. I think that's yeah what it was. And I won't buying the popcorn. I'm just thinking like maybe this is the moment. The moment I try an icy because she was craving it. She said like, "Oh, don't get it if you don't want to." I'm like, "I will." So, I got an icy in 20. A a small icy was more expensive more expensive than a large bucket popcorn. The logic behind it I don't get, but it was really weird. Like a large bucket popcorn was m less expensive than a small icy. I'm like, this is weird. But whatever. I bring back all the stuff. I sit down with her and she and I actually got two straws too just so that we can both try it. And we sit down, I start eating popcorn and then and then she's like, you should try the slushy. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. And when I tasted it, this is where I would say the line, Americans, but I'm just like American drinks and food. But I just tried it and I was like, that my friends is sugar like that it was so good but that is sugar and i mean sometimes you know you, you can treat yourself once in a time you know just to go all out like i might treat myself with the popcorn but like with that icy i'm not surprised that people would buy popcorn with an icy it's a fantastic combination because of really saltiness and to very sweetness so it balances balances each other out so when i'm seeing him like icy i'm like wait I tried the same icy for the first time. Except you knew what you wanted because you probably had it before, so I respect that. Sorry, thank you for the long story short. Knuckles, you need therapy sometimes. It's good. No. Nope. I was having fun. I'm sorry we haven't gotten a chance to get to know each other yet. I'm actually quite an admirer of your work. What could you possibly know about my life of battles and quests? I know about you, of course. Other new creatures like you, your abilities, where you're from. That was my job for a long time. I see. Wait, you know wait, 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 wait. Where you're from? That was my job for a long time. I see. Since they got here? You know about my tribe's victory over the vile Dr. Robotnik. Of course. So, if you know how I destroyed someone as dangerous as him, then you know how easily I can destroy someone like you. It was Sonic, Super Sonic, Sonic but it's okay. There are nothing. But you guys all work together. There are no one compared to the great Ivo Robotnik. Well, let me assure you, you're wrong. Wait. Because while I know everything about you. Did he say, did she say Ivo? This, you know nothing about me. But when this is all over, you will. So we're just going to have a talk to talk. Okay. Alright. Geared up. Here we go. You still have the tag on the, I mean, that's just so weird. Hang tight, Nux. I'm coming to get you. You know what's funny? All I need is the perfect rescue soundtrack. No, you Let's don't. do this, Spotify. No. Time to rock out. No. You, you don't announce your. Okay, that's so weird.
Oh my gosh, the music! Stop it! I'm gonna get so much copyright after this. What the heck? He just literally blasted himself. I mean, I'm not surprised. Aww. I wonder how much that cost him. I mean, you get a dramatic entrance, I guess. Oh dear. He literally destroyed his own car. His only means of escape. And probably the only police car in Green Hill. Good job, Wade. I mean, that's one way to distract, get them out of there, and you just leave and go around. No, he's still there. Explosion. You again. Hi. That's right. I'm here for the echidna. What's that piecing? That can't be good. What are we Okay, we're going Skippy Doo. Really? <laughs> what makes me sad is that something I feel like I would exactly do completely mess up. I think I'm cool, but then I mess up completely. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to trap someone. Wait, come on, you can do it. You were smart in driving up. Uh, and following them. That was a great job. He literally rolled like a nat one for observation skills. <sighs> or a nat 20. I mean, at least he tried, but I don't even want to show myself. Punch! Punch Wade! It's not the penguins! The penguin. What's with them with their s creepy smiles? Wade, come on! It's sizable. Also, I heard Sonic 3 trailer is supposed to come out at the end of August. I cannot wait. Once it comes out, I'll try to live react to it as soon as possible. I'm gonna upload it as soon as possible. It's your mom? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hey, mom! Wait, so you are part of Gun? I don't have to fight there any. 
So wait, 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 wait. Uh, the logic behind this, he's like, that's why I signed up with guns, so that I can get, well, get paid, I guess, and then, and then fight alien monsters kind of thing. But you just betrayed gun. So, to make a deal with something that makes you more money, so your motivation is only the money, I guess, not loyalty? I guess, but you just said you're perfect. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Wade is such... I don't know how to explain it, but I just get him. And it makes me sad that he fails, but it's so relatable. That's the word! He's so relatable. Great hostile back there. You should see the other guy. Hmm. There he is. You should see the other guy. Seriously, this is your great warrior. Could it be dead by now? This is first day. This is first day! <laughs> I mean, I look like much of a warrior. But, no offense, you guys don't either. I mean, he looks like a sexy menswear model and looks like some kind of psychotic Uma Thurman look alike. Thank you. Now, before you die... Americans. <laughs> what does a moron like you want to be a kid? Friendship. We're gonna win a bowling tournament. Tradition, is it not? I'm a hugger too. Okay, Wade, way well done. That was a that was a big thing, but if the blast hit her, it should have hit you too. But I'm glad you went in for a hug. Whatever happens, hold on. What? What do you mean? Is this one moment we get a flying knuckles? Or as in this case he glides? Did I get a phone call? Oh, dang. Dang, 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 dang. Oh, from Massachusetts. Never mind. But we got knuckles flying! Give me a sec. Oh my gosh, I missed that reference. Sorry. I mean, I think he's still gliding down. Well, in any case, Wade would have been dead, so he's okay now, with a couple of bruises and scratches, but... For a very short time. <laughs> we got Knuckles gliding! Let's go! We missed that in the second movie. Sweet try. And it was just open. I can't just drive us. There's no key. <laughs> okay, I can just drive us. Did he just literally used one of his? Okay, I won't question it. I don't know about you, but I am scared. Hey, look, a burger shack. Let's go eat. I mean, how late is it? For how many? I mean, I only eat grapes and full large Doritos. Okay, well that explains your insane and erratic behavior. Now come on, let's eat, Bubba. So I was thinking about how I rescued you before. Um, on a scale of one to warrior, where does Wade fall? 
No biggie. You can tell me after we eat. Let's have a little victory feast for the boy. I mean, you gotta give it to not give Fourth victory. We won nothing tonight. Incorrect. I was taken prisoner because of your failures in battle. Mm, that's so true. We were nearly killed several times. And once again, correct. And the only reason we survived at all was pure luck. None of these words would be used to describe a victory or a warrior. All right. Knuckles, one thing. He did get you out of there. That's one thing. Yeah, you were captured. Yeah, Wade at the bowling alley wasn't so good, but at the same time, he didn't really have that, like, punching thing, so he actually had a weapon this time. So in this case, I feel bad, but I'm like, I'm actually a little bit on Wade's side. Like, there, there was something, like, or not Wade's side, no, not, not on Wade's side. I'm more, like, against Knuckles a little bit here, just by a little bit, saying, dude, he did actually come to rescue you. The worst thing would have happened is he got himself captured, and then you both be captured, then there's no victory. Right now, there was a victory. You're both free. As a scale to warrior level, or like, oh, was this a warrior's victory? Probably not. But this was a victory. You're both free and eating food. For me, that's the biggest victory ever. Let's eat food. Some of the things you just said might have happened. But <laughs> you're looking at it the wrong way, Knuckles. My dad taught me to take any win you can and enjoy it. Nine out of ten warriors would call that a victory. It might not have been pretty, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a... Glorious victory! Now you're getting it? Let's dig in. This guy flops his little red braids up and down. <laughs> we are so screwed! Yeah, I'm pissed too. What are we gonna do? I guess the deal's off. No! No, you don't understand. The deal's not off. There's no backing out with him. We've been selling weapons to one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world. Oh yeah, we already know who the- I'm an idiot. Why'd they say if it was Stone? We already know who it is, duh. They said in the first thing. We show up empty-handed. He's gonna straight up kill us. So slightly in a horrible way. Well, that doesn't stop right. Oh, stop right. Operate it all. We need to get them. Fast. Why are you so close to the way he gets us? burning vehicle. Wait with me. You wish to be a warrior, yet you hail from Green Hills, a place where there are no warring clans. So, why do you remain? No warring Sonic, sorry. I guess Green Hills has always just been home. I mean, there must be some place in the universe that's like that for you, right? Since the loss of my tribe, I have journeyed across every corner of the galaxy. Seen planets and stars you could only dream of. But nowhere I have called home. It must be tough for you. Yes. I made a promise to my fellow warriors to find the Master Emerald and protect it. That shall be my goal until the moment I join my people in the great battleground in the sky. One thing I have learned in pledging my life to this quest is that I have been betrayed again and again and again and again. Wow. Sorry that happened to you. You know how that feels, don't you? To be betrayed. Yeah. Yeah, I know how that feels. I do your too. Father, who abandoned you like common gutter trash. No, I got what you were saying. Thank you very much, though. But he will. Warrior or not, I'm strong enough to know that I would never betray a friend. I'm gonna cry. Wait, you give me. You give me, Wade. No. <laughs> Wade's backstory is definitely more sad because I never. Uh, Apparently, I've never been um, betrayed by family, but I have been betrayed by a friend. Or in this case, a group of friends, in a way. Sort of. <laughs> my, my, my thought is that the friend I actually had who betrayed me actually was manipulated by the other group who I called friend as well, but not as close. But what I'm thinking is that they turned her... I almost want to say, like, turned my friend to the dark side kind of thing. But overall, like... The act that they did was a huge betrayal, and with his, he was abandoned, but for me, they literally physically ran away from me. 
like ran away. It, it, you, I, it sounds stupid, doesn't it? Like I'm standing there and there's like, just, they just run away and get into a car and drive away. No, that's a legit thing it happened. It kind of sounds stupid and ridiculous, but it legit happened and it broke my heart. I'm like, what the heck? It was like very immature of them, but yeah, but I, that line. I'm strong enough to know that I would never betray a friend. Amen, brother. You are stronger than you think, Wade Wicker. I don't know about that. On the scale of one to warrior, you are a three. Really? I'm gonna put that on my dating profile. Wade Whipple, solid three. Come on, let's hit the road, huh? He takes anything, even small detail, to a positivity. That was so me. I love. Oh my gosh, music! Like a hurricane. Sorry, just for music sense, just for copyright reasons. <laughs> Glad Knuckles is liking this. Eyes on the road, Wade! Eyes on the road, buddy. Eyes on the road, buddy. That's Knuckles for ya. Reno! I'm actually going to Reno literally the, like towards like end of June. I mean August. It's August. First glass is broken. We need safe harbor. Somewhere we can stay hidden and secure. I know a place we can lay low. But it's gonna mean going somewhere I haven't been in a real long time. TJ Maxx? I'm just kidding. Grandma's house? Your mom lives in Reno? Oh, come on! That was fun. Okay. For music sense, because again, like, I don't want to get copyright. I want to upload this without any problems, please. So I'm turning off the volume here. But, oh, that was so fun, guys. That was so fun. I enjoyed it. And sorry for like the little back and forth with the music thing. I just, just, I just don't, I just want a smooth upload. That's all I want. <sighs> But oh, that, I like that, and I'm really connecting with Wade more. It's so funny, we have the same personality type. Uh, same as Sonic, which is kind of funny. But, uh, or in this case, in this universe. But overall, that was, that was fun. I, I really, really did enjoy it, and I cannot wait to uh, see the next episode next week with you guys. Um, please, let me know what you guys liked and disliked about this episode, or what your favorite reaction was. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm getting more... I'm, I'm not getting more. I'm, I'm relating so much more to Wade. And he's like, I'm strong enough to know I'll never betray a friend. And here's a good question, guys. If there's a friend... Actually, I really want to hear your thoughts on this. Because what if, if, what if there's a friend that you might have in your life that... Okay, this might be going made towards extroverts, but it could be introverts too. I'm a huge extrovert. ESFP, if you have not known my personality type. But that's what Wade is literally in, in Sonic. But if there's a friend who you know, like, in your life, that they're a great friend, they're there, you have great nerd talks about, you know, anything, like Star Wars, Marvel, anime, Sonic, like, any type of franchise, or even games, or even novels, or books, like, there's someone, you know, you get along with, you have fun watching stuff, but when it comes to them being, <sighs> actually, this might be a little bit of a hard way to put it, but there's someone that you want to help them improve, like help them be stronger, become uh, like independent. Like I'm an adult. You, if most of you guys are teenagers, maybe this is a little bit hard, but it's also a form of discipline to get yourself, get to do things, get things done quick and fast and making sure you can, um, sorry, this is more about adult stuff, but there's just someone I know who's just, 
lazing away at home and they're and not saying that they're too lazy all the time it's just they uh they don't seem to be motivated to do something and they live with their parents and the thing is they're just they're just not getting it and they're almost of an age that they could get literally get kicked out by their parents and i don't want that for her but she's literally not getting a job that she needs to actually work to make a living does that make sense sorry this is more of an adult thing but i just have a friend and i wonder if you guys have a friend what like for me i don't want to put it as a betrayal like I, not saying i want to leave the friendship but like i feel like she's not getting it i'm telling her like deep hard stuff but she's just not improving and again, I get along with her. I have a lot of fun. Like I, I'm having so much fun hanging out with her, but I care about her so much to the point that I'm tempted to like, I should stop. I feel like I should stop hanging out with her just so she could get the point of please work a better job. I don't know. It's, 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 it's almost like hard love or something like that. Like, it's just, I don't want to become her parent, but at the point I feel like I am and she's older than me. So it's just like, ah. Sorry, I'm sharing personal stuff right now, but I'm just curious, like, I don't, like, I know what to do not to betray a friend, but if me leaving that friend would help improve them to, like, literally get reality hit across her face, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, I just don't know how to, I, I don't know what to do with a friend like this, and she's draining me a lot, too. Which is, I mean, again, I have fun with her watching anime. Like, I nerd out and stuff like that. Like, that I love hanging out with her. But she talks about dreams that, that are fun dreams, but they're not going to become reality unless she steps up. And that kind of goes for me, too. I need to step up on a lot of things, but I'm doing a lot better than her. And she's like... I don't know. I feel bad. I don't want to bring it up too much, like, to a dra dramatic thing. But just, like, say, say right here with Wade and... Okay, let's say with Sonic and Tails. I mean, it's very different. I don't want to put that down. But what if, like, Tails was so ignorant on point that, like, Sonic gave Tails all the advice, all this, but Tails would still not listen or improve? Like, you gave... It's almost like you gave... You, she, like, Sonic gave Tails all the tools he needs to build something, but doesn't... Or doesn't do it... Or, like, is almost, like, lazy. Like, Tails is lazy to build... Let's say a fighting machine. That's very out of Tails' character, I know. But just say the example, like giving all the tools, getting all the advice from people, but they will not take that advice to heart. And it's taking forever. It's just, what do you do? Or like when a friend does not want to reconcile with another friend and they're like, well, we'll just wait, what ha see what happens. I'm like, no, like if there was wrong, go ahead and go both of like, you know, both parties apologize or like, you know, say what you need to say and then move on kind of thing and then get be better versions of yourself. Sorry, I went off really on top off topic, but I'm just I'm wondering for you guys what you guys have any suggestions on that to really understand like I'll still be their friend, but like I'm afraid for them for the future. Like they're going to not saying they're going to be homeless, but what if you're what if you're afraid that a friend that you really know is going to end up homeless because they're not doing they're not working hard to not make themselves homeless. Does that make sense? Or they're going to live with their parents for the rest of their life and then they keep complaining about how nagging their parents are. I'm like, duh, you're like this year's old and you're still living with your parents. I stopped living with my parents until I came to college. So it's just like, it was a huge, huge wake up call for me. Like I learned literally with reality really kicking me in the face. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this is what it's like being an adult, living on your own, try to be financial with your money sorry i'm talking about really adult stuff i'm sorry if you guys are like still in school like work hard do your homework do your best i really do miss going back to school and actually having like a legit schedule so that's just me just blaring out but yeah that's that's all i'm gonna go for sorry i went way way too long i'm sorry but i really want to hear you guys' thoughts on that because right now wade's words just really hit me and i never want to be that to a friend who betrays a friend like i know like strong enough to never to betray a friend so, yeah, I, I, I really respect Wade here and Knuckles, uh, just even listening to Wade and I think they'll, I, I'm just thinking like, this is an interesting duo. And I, at first I was very skeptical, like, is this going to work out? Like, I don't know, I don't see how they fit, but I think they both can learn from each other big time and I love it. I, I'm really enjoying it. And now that Wade's going to be with his mother, I'm like, hi mother, ah, like what? I mean, I guess, I mean, he did have a phone, but I don't know if it broke. 
I don't know. He could have called ahead, but maybe his phone broke and during the attack. I'm not sure, but... Oh, that was so funny. Wade is so relatable. I love the guy now. I, I'm starting to love him. In the second movie, he was just like, dude, come on. Like, is that your dad? I'm like, what the... Wait, wait, read the room, read the room, and, 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 oh my gosh. But, <laughs> Wade was a couple times annoying, but he, but he's starting to grow on me more with this, with this TV show, so I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna end it here, guys, so make it short, but please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, or my questions, like, do you have any advice, if you have any advice, or any thoughts, I'd love to hear from you guys, so please let me know underneath the comments what you're, what you guys think, I'd love to hear from you, and, can't wait to see this next week, so I'll definitely see you guys next week. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, I'm blanking. One words. Subscribe for more videos so you guys see more videos from Hunger Harmony. Please uh, click on the notification bell as well so you don't miss every time I upload. Be sure to click on the all, not the personalized, because my friend even says, like, uh, I just got a... <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, I just got a notification, but, like, just now, I'm like, no, I upload this like way early on. You're getting the notification now. So be sure to press, if you get notifications, do the all so you can get it on time when I upload it. Because sometimes the personalized will not arrive on time. So be sure to press the all for when you uh, click on the bell. All right, guys? Oh, okay, I'm done. Thank you guys again for watching my live reaction to Knuckles Adventure Episode 2. Hungry Harmony is going to be out. But remember, gotta go fast. And get yourself a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh, knuckles.